So, good morning. Um, hope you enjoyed the first part of this import here in Paris. Um, would like to thank the import to Choice Paris for organizing for organizing this meeting. Um, so, as you maybe have understood, or probably understood, movement is a central part of the of the clinic exam here in, in at the INP. So, I will try to make my best to uh, present this. So, uh, what is uh, the effect of a supinated food orthosis? Well, the, what says the literature? The literature says that supinated food orthosis reduce a rear foot eversion. Problem is that there is a, in all the studies I read, there is a lack of, inf of, of information about the foot orthosis. It means we have no information about the elements which are on these authorities. We don't know the hardness of the material which is used on this uh, foot authorities. So we don't know how they are made. And what is the slope necessary to reduce an ankle eversion? So um, the aim of this study was to see <coughs> how the, uh, the clinical concept and custom-made foot authorities developed by Mr. Lavigne had an action on the ankle kinematic. So uh, you maybe have seen on yesterday how we make uh, the printings and the modeling of the foot authorities. Okay, we're making some three three D printings and this printing results from a four foot correction okay and then the whole of this with result from this four foot correction <coughs> it means middle foot and rear foot will follow the correction we will give to the uh, to the four foot Oop. So, um, our inclusion cr criteria was a pronated foot with an FPI upper than uh, five. It means a pronated foot. Oh, uh, yeah, a pronated foot, sorry. Uh, it's only the beginning of the study. I just began for one month, so I could have five patients, uh, which were five men, about 27 years old. Okay plus or minus five years. The eight was uh, one meter 81. Okay, and the weight was about 81 kilos. So how are the foot authorities, the Alain Laving foot authorities, biomechanic foot authorities made? Uh, we, in this study, I used a uh, 70 degrees shore A hardness to correct fully, uh, to full correct the foot. Okay, so we have, um, on point, on, see? Okay, so, uh, Maybe begin with the forefoot, okay? That's what we were, we were customizing first, okay? To give a slope to the forefoot. And then the whole, the whole orthosis will result from this here slope. It means we will have a, mid, a medial midfoot and a rear foot correction. And of course, a lateral midfoot correction too. Opa. So in my study, I choose to have different forefoot slopes. It means different forf, um, under first metatarsal head um, highness. I used 
six millimeters, eight millimeters, and ten millimeters, just to see what will happen at the ankle. So we made a four gate analysis without orthosis and with three custom made foot orthosis, like I said, okay, with six millimeters, eight millimeters, and ten millimeters. All patients had the same shoes type. Um, the main characteristic of the of the shoe that is that there is no drop, okay, no difference between rear and front of the shoe. We make we made a five gate cycle a calculation of kinematic and a student t test for paired samples. Okay, uh, we made the motion capture here at the INP in the gate laboratory. Like uh, Dr. from Malta, excuse me, I didn't have your name. We made obviously the same thing. Okay? So, what are the results? Here, the red line. Is without, hopla, is without orthosis. The blue, the blue one is with a six millimeter um, under first metatarsal head highness. The green one is with eight millimeters, and the ten one, the yellow one, sorry, is about ten millimeters. <laughs> you have here the supination. Here, the pronation, okay, and here is the uh, walking cycle. We will look from 0 to 16, which is, which is the, the, the time where the foot is on the ground. Uh, so you can see that uh, without insoles, without orthosis, you got an, a big pronation peak, eversion peak, Okay, here at 20, at 20 percent, and this with six millimeters is, uh, there is a big difference between both peaks, okay. With eight millimeters we got another difference, and with 10 millimeters we, we get another one. And you got here a supination peak, okay at uh, between 40 and 60 percent, which is the time where the forefoot is on the ground. So, what correction of pronation pick? Without orthosis versus within with six millimeters, we get um, a correction of pronation pick from for, uh, between three or four degrees, okay, without orthosis and versus uh, eight millimeters, we got a um, correction of pronation peak from about five degrees, and with 10 millimeters, we got a, a pronation peak correction about six degrees. Okay, what's diff interesting is that there is a linearity between all the studies, okay? It means much more you have front, front, uh, forefoot for, for slope, much you will correct your aversion peak. Okay, then what is the average correction? So, without uh, uh, six millimeters versus, versus uh, uh, without, we got 2.5 degrees average correction. Here, with eight millimeters, we got about 3.30. Uh, average correction, and here, with 10 millimeters, we get a little bit more than four degrees average creation. 
And there is also a linearity between all the corrections. And what is about the maximal correction? Well, uh, the maximal correction, six millimeters versus without uh, orthosis, we got four degrees maximal correction. Five, uh, five degrees with eight millimeters and about six degrees with 10 millimeters. So what does it say? Well, it says that supinated foot orthosis uh, correct the peak aversion. Okay, and more for foot slope you have, more ankle correction you have. What is very interesting is the linearity of the correction. Okay, maybe we can think that with 3D printings or computers we can so make our orthosis. There is a biomechanical effect of this custom, foot ortho foot, uh, supinated foot orthosis. What I have to do right now, to increase, of course, the number of patients, with five patients, I can have some conclusion, to verify the muscular activities, okay? And I have also to use different Shaw A hardness. It means, okay, that's correct with some 70 degrees Shaw A hardness, but what is the fact when there is only about 15 or 50 uh, short, uh, short ha ha hardness? Because using <coughs> a supination forefoot uh, pad means to have a, fir a first uh, metatarsal head, which is disponible, available, sorry, to, to, to have this action and this highness and this hardness. So that's what. So thank you for your attention. Any questions? Any questions?